All right, you guys just clicked on this video because you have a problem that says there's a ladder that leans against the wall or a ladder that leans against the building, and you need to find maybe um, a certain length of either the ladder, or the ground, right, or maybe the distance of the ladder leans against the wall right here. How far up the wall does the ladder lean? Your problem says something probably like that, okay? So there's timestamps in the video player down below. You can skip to whichever part you need. And before that, guys, I'm the math professor, Kyle Martin. This is the channel to do your math homework fast and accurately, all right? So if this problem helps you out, down below if you would hit the like button for me and then maybe subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed i'd appreciate it and that way we can do more problems like this for you in the future let's get into number one though number one it looks like i need to find this distance between the building and the bottom of the ladder along the ground here given this is a 30 degree angle and the ladder looks like it's 10 feet up the wall, all right? All right, so to do this, compared to my 30, I have the opposite and the adjacent sides, and that is gonna be tangent, right? I have to use tangent of my angle, in this case, tangent of 30, all right? And again, that's gonna be opposite over adjacent, in our case, 10 over X, all right? By the way, if you forgot if it's sine, cosine, or tangent that you need to use, Sokatoa, all right? I have a video of that I'll put up here. Otherwise, so... Katoa is what we'll use here. This one is tangent. Again, the T, because we use the opposite and the adjacent sides compared to our 30 degree angle. All right, so tangent of 30 equals 10 over X. The X is in the denominator. This typically takes the longest, right? To multiply both sides times X. Those cancel now. And now I have X times tangent of 30 equals 10. To get the X by itself, if it's currently being multiplied by tangent of 30, I need to divide by tangent of 30 parentheses around those, divide by tangent of 30. And what this does for me is it cancels the tangents and gives me just x on the left side. And on the right side in the calculator, I can just type it in exactly like it looks, 10 divided by tangent of 30. And this spits out 17.3205, all right? 17.3205, we can just leave it like that. So that tells me that this distance that the ladder is away from the wall is 17.32. Number two, number two, it looks like we need to find the distance that this ladder leans um, up the wall, okay? And so my hypotenuse is 17. Hypotenuse is always gonna be our longest side. Um, so in this case, the X should be something less than 17. That's a, a way you can check you're doing it right. All right, I have this angle 35 down here, 35 degrees. Compared to it, I have its opposite and its hypotenuse. Well, opposite and hypotenuse is sine, the S in Sokatoa. So we're gonna say sine of 35 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. If you're struggling, like which one goes on top, which one goes on the bottom, just look at the order of so katoa, O and then H. So we're gonna do opposite, right? The X over the H hypotenuse, X over 17. This time it's a little bit nicer because the X is in the top of our fraction. We just have to multiply by 17 to get the X isolated. So times by 17 on both sides, they're gonna cancel over here. On the left side, we can just again, type it in the calculator exactly like it looks, 17 times sine of 35, and that gives me 9.75. All right, 9.75 equals X. Again, that should have been less than 17, and it is, so we probably did it correctly, all right? Last one, number three over here. This time we have the length along the ground that the ladder is between the building. It's four. I also have the length of the ladder as X that I'm trying to find, and I have a 40 degree angle between the ground and the ladder, all right? So compared to the 40 degrees, I have information um, on its adjacent, side as well as its hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine, all right? So we get to use one of each in this, uh, in this video. Cosine of 40 degrees is how we write this out. Again, look at how it's written in Sokatoa, adjacent over hypotenuse, four over X. Multiply both sides by X. We're gonna cancel over here. We have X cosine of 40 equals four. To get the X isolated, I have to divide by cosine of 40. Okay, they're gonna cancel on the left side, leave me with just X, which is good. And on the right side in the calculator, type in four divided by cosine of 40, or whatever numbers you have on your problem. And this should give me, for this one, 
5.22. Again, our hypotenuse, which represents it's, it's represented by the latter in this case, is our longest side. Is this longer than the other one I know? Yes, it is. Therefore, I probably did it correctly. All right, so you need to solve for these lengths sometimes, but what if you need to find the angle? If you need to find the angle, check out this video over here, and that'll tell you everything you need to know to find angles in right triangles.